Are you with me? Yeah, all right, lovely. Uh, smart people in Twitch chat. I think I think you pay off Twitch viewers to, <laughs> to, to vote with the teams that you pick. I think it's like, it's part of your ego trip. Anyway, let's take a look. Map number one, Ancient, the map pick of Big a Keeper. We all want to see the upset. We all want to see one of these teams take down the Titans. Here in the group stages, can Big a Keeper be one of the deliverers? Let's find out. Letty with uh, a lot of utility, instant red smoke as well, being deployed by Big. And look at Paulie go. This is incredibly aggressive. And was that scroll wall jump? Not sure, but 23 takes full advantage of it. Off the back of that contact, it will be a push into B, but an instantaneous reaction out of Imperial. They push down B ramp and they split the exec in half. Yeah, that's cool. They double pushed uh, both ramp and A main, and they found success on both. So Jenny R, for all the dramatic music, is not going to have a very dramatic end to this round. Taken down by Zaz, flawless from Imperial. Not the way the big keeper wanted this to start. Yeah, I love that from Imperial. Really just proactive mid-rounding. And based on the information you've got, one player at A main, okay, was well, going to be a B hit. They walk down B ramp. They catch Giuliano with nades out. That stops the short smoke. That stops the molly sort of towards long or pocket uh, at that point, and it completely upsets oh. what Bigger Keeper wanted to do. What do you reckon in the force fire? With no kills and no bomb plant? Yeah, why not? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Good analysis. <laughs> well, the, the, th the thing is, every time I criticize one of these, it's not just an impact, it's like in like any other event I cast, I always go, oh, I don't like the force fire, and then it gets like three kills and a bomb plant. So I've stopped doing that now. You did the B-Dog boys. Yeah. Someone at two. All right, they're going to take middle with a second barrage of utility and do so successfully. Anna is smoked off, so can't provide support. He's going to hear them scaling very fast into red room. Another smoke lands. Cat wants to blow it to try and get some space, see if she can pick someone off. Does spot poorly in the bomb. Doesn't find the kill, but Anna standing tall in the donut. Can't get more than one. So they managed to find an extra kill. Cat just running forward, looking to get something back straight into Zana, who doubles up with the Tech Nine. And well, Brandon, the force by a stroke of genius, Giuliano does it again. Yeah, this is why I don't ever say anything about the force spies. Zaz, can you clutch up? They are low. That was the, the highest HP he needs to get through. But I think with all the investment as well, Imperial were just better off saving. I, I think what, what's cool there is. And I think the meta is shifting as well. I'll actually add a little bit more analysis rather than I, whenever I say it, it goes wrong. The meta is shifting now, in my opinion, especially over the last three weeks to a month, where second round buys from the CT sides in particular are becoming a, a lot more future-proofed. There's a lot more rifles being invested. There isn't as much SMGs. Normally, we saw like three or four SMGs be purchased. And sometimes now, you get maybe one or two SMGs, and a, a lot of them are M4s. Think about this buy that Imperial brought in, by the way. Four M4s, no utility, so a quick pop on the exec. It's so easy to overwhelm up close, and that forces so many rebuys. Look at all the money that they're working with now, Imperial, after losing that round. There is a single M4 that was saved from Zaz. No one else can afford a rifle. <laughs> yeah, now you got five rifles, three of the M4s on the T side. But yeah, the Tech Nines are brutal as well. You know, they, they, they can sometimes be just as effective as any other weapon. A little misleading dink onto Letty through the edge of the brick wall. Imperial have used the lion's share of their utility to establish control of lane. But it's so early on and they don't have any way to continuously re-smoke that it might not really matter too much. Also, small thing is that if you're buying an M4, you're not going to have head armor. Tori up close. See you later, says Jenny R. Zaz is in such a good spot. Never mind. Jenny R is the undoer of the B-bomb site. And now Big can just scale. Cat. Oh, can't quite catch. 23 does, but immediately dealt with. And Anna, all she has is a scout, which is not really something you want to save. You'd much rather an M4 to take to the next round, but chances are there's no way for her to get one. Because look at where Zaz died. Maybe she can get something on the exit. But big keeper, this is the ideal start. This is better than winning the pistol. Because now you're going to be 2-1 up and the next round Imperial have to eco. So you can be sitting 3-1 early on. 
small micro here. It's really good that bigger keeper don't hunt this. Like they know it's a scout. They don't care. It's so much better just to kind of keep all of this, and you don't give Anna a chance to upgrade. Yeah, Juliana's even playing caretaker, just juggling all the rifles away. Really good start, and I really like that default as well. That they just take space in towards middle. But they don't progress too much further forward. They just drop their utility. They scale in towards cave. You've got Juliano that was also throwing preventative flashbangs outside of B doors. That was sort of hindering the progression, the scaling. Which meant that Zaz had to sort of be in that cubby. And Jenny R clears her perfectly. Yes, we just have the scout. Everyone else on US base. The deep boost, oft overlooked, but may not matter as Jinny R is, oh, <laughs> 99, five power by the way, tag, how much damage can Anna do with a single scout? Surely no more, that, that's got to be, that's got to be it. Yeah, 173 is enough, Anna. Chill out. Nice frags. Ready for Letty? Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Two kills back on the USP. Zaz trying to stick the reload. Zana has the opportunity to disrupt this, and she does. Anna can't find any further damage. That's Easy not bad it. for an eco, though. No, like, it really isn't. <laughs> it was just US he's in one scout, and they took three players down. It's pretty decent. Money's great, though, from Beer Keeper, because of how clean the two rounds prior were, so it doesn't have massive ramifications. But it's just a reminder that Imperial can always do that damage. Nothing's ever free. Fight for mids immediately. This is change of pace out of Zana. With the AK, grabbing all this space. No fight really in middle for Imperial. Which means that they're probably going to head in towards Cheetah. And they are two players waiting. Zaz versus Juliano. There's that head-to-head. -head. Juliano comes out on top. And then the double swing from both angles. That is the B-bomb site open for business. And if you're Imperial, to be honest with you, you're saving this. I don't even think you're looking. I don't know. With the AWP and no armor yet, yeah, she can't extend further than this. With Zana's position in cave, there's just no way. Explosive and Imperial started three players towards A. Look like they were really expecting that to be the variation Big brought through, a bit, a bit of presence in A main, but that was never the intent. They want to take cave fast, and as soon as they find that double, it's an immediate acceleration. No waiting around for Imperial to reposition and find you, no, straight in. This is really fun because we're really peering into the CS metaverse right now because A has been, by and large, what T sides have really been trying to exploit recently. And Imperial, they make that meta decision. Okay, well, let's have three players lean over there. Two start Donut, one over towards A for quick rotates. And what that means is you can't fight middle. So the variance that Giuliano takes is, well, considering how easy it's been over the past couple of rounds to fight middle, there's only been a little bit of resistance with the nades, but there's, not, there's never really been any follow-up. There's no need to progress in towards the donut entrance. There's no need to sort of expose yourself towards red room. Just take cave, fight here. This double swing is everything. Sort of prevent cat from finding any trades. At the bare minimum, just even one. Nothing allowed. And this is really good game planning out of bigger keeper so far. Yeah, and it's just a fight you're not expecting to take on the CT side, like the swing from right hand side. You, you normally hold it for the left side. So here's the A hit <laughs> coming out. There are three players in middle from Imperial this time, but Anna will be here to receive. What can she deliver with that AWP? Waiting for the first, hits it with ease. It's the deep smoke, so she has room to play with. 23 slips in to help out. Bigger keeper, they don't extend further, at least not immediately. Now they want to take the fight forward. 23 up on the angle, gets the dink, but not the kill. The second smoke lands, Anna forced back. 4v4 as the bomb's planted, but Zana's low. The biggest thing is here, you've got no nades. You've got a flash and you've got a nade to break the smoke. That's just been deployed. 
but it doesn't go deep enough. Now you need a flashbang deep over the top, and Tori is able to deal with Giuliano, but the low HP player, Azana, I thought she was going to get the trade. She doesn't. Imperial are back in the fight on this, but there's no smoke for the defuse. It's Letty trying to deal with it, and she can't manage it. It's Jenny R versus the world, and she's trying to do her best. A couple of kills. Can't knock off the defuser, though. Cat will steal it away, and it's Imperial that have the successful retake. Yeah, but they shouldn't have. <laughs> That's... Oh, Zana is going to be really upset with that one off. She gets the critical kill on 23 in Donut. She's in the perfect position to trade Giuliano. Can't quite get the kill. Not enough bullets in the chamber. This is the moment. Tori living there is everything. Then this double setup in A main. There was a flashbang that potentially could have been deployed, but in the moment you feel like you can just fight forward. Almost works out. Especially with Anna whiffing her one shot. That very flustered. Imperial win. And Anna from Donut gets one, gets two through the smoke. So Anna finally bursts through and looking for a bit of redemption. Anna's brought down to basically nothing, but she lives. And that's the most important thing. Because in the meantime, look at Imperial making moves over towards B ramp. Pushing and progressing. Zaz clears the corner. And while Zana might expect one, are you ready for Zaz? Up this close and personal? No, sideswipe. But Zana trades again. This is now in a one versus one. It's the battle of the Annas and Imperials is far away. Yeah, and Zana knows exactly where Anna was because she brought her down low before. And she knows she's done that damage. Bomb planted. She's in the right position. Anna has a very difficult peer around this corner, but it doesn't matter. Anna clears anyway. Left alive with five HP, Zana doesn't finish her meal and it comes back to bite her. Yeah, the difficulty with that is even though she did the damage in Donut, it, Anna could have gone A main to T spawn. She could have gone back from Donut in towards Long. I think this was the safest angle of approach that Zana could have taken in that one versus one. She might have even had a shadow advantage, but it doesn't matter. Anna is too fast. I mean, look at that replay. Yeah, like, what I can mean, you do? You've also got Anna peeking on the right eye, right? Whereas Zana's the opposite yeah. way around. So when it's a, a slow peeking orb, that actually favors you, funnily enough. Fast B, potentially, looking like they want to. Molly slow them down and as a boost that's employed instead. And he's not been great for Imperial, so there's still the SMG in play and a chance for them to overwhelm Cat behind default. Swings out, but Juliana greets her. There's the SMG in play. Paulie, looking for that trade, gets it. Still a player in cave to be worried about. Zaz has slipped out all the way to ledge, in fact. But again, it's a player advantage for Big. A bomb looking to get planted. Oh, this is this is safety, though, for Bigger Keeper, because you've got Jenny R holding the B doors. So Zaz can't push forward. If you're Jenny, you just remain rooted. You're holding this cross. Flashbang is brilliant, but Zana hits the shot anyway. And now suddenly it's a two versus four. Zaz will activate and deal with Jenny. Shadow presented, but it's Zana that comes out on top this time. And it's Zaz trying to clutch up in the one versus two, but Paulie is hidden the entire time in plain sight. And Bigger Keeper will finally make an afterplant be theirs. Yeah, and look at Zana. All right. Makes that clutch look doable in the round previous. Just doesn't quite win out the 1v1. And I think that was from, what, 2v5 at that point. This one, she gets on the forward position. Flashed initially, too. Still hits the shot. Look at this. Just on the fade, able to flick over. Bails her teammate out. And then the critical final bait. Oh, it's Imperial back on the pistols. They're grouping towards A. Zaz fires off a couple of shots. We just need to walk this one in. Don't trip over their shoelaces. Yeah, they're even being careful. Molly on 23. That's got a little pocket of space. Look at all of these horrible nooks and crannies Imperial found themselves in, though. Meanwhile, Giuliano is yet again taking space on this B site. Surely that gets calmed over to Jenny. Got to be careful about Cave. We've not cleared that yet. Sight seems clear. Yeah, now you're very worried about Cave. And in fact, Juliana might clean it from the other side. Oh, Tori's going to dribble a smoke forward. Okay, so that's interesting. 
Trying to play around it. Can she do anything? No. They're wary of her little tricksies. That's the eagle. That's fine, it's Mark. So potentially a weapon to be scavenged. What's Anna up to? She's hanging out. Yeah, no. Pray to her. But no AK recovered. And Zaz? Well, maybe. Be. Dealt. Hey. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> she is not dealt with. That was what the maybe was about. It's fine. All is good. I, I think Imperial have got really good game plan and just in the... Not Imperial, sorry. Bigger Keeper have got a really good game plan against Imperial, I should say, on this first half. I think this is why they've picked into Ancient as well. It, it just feels like Imperial are really reluctant to take this mid-fight, and they're putting a lot of prioritization just sort of on taking shelf, on taking cave. It, it would not surprise me if we see another mid-take now out of Bigger Keeper, and then in the next sort of round or two, they go back to A, because Imperial are constantly trying to adjust. It feels like Imperial are playing reactive, and Bigger Keeper are sort of controlling them with where they want to go. Only brought down very low. They have managed to get the cave control. Imperial's response to the push ramp again. It's maybe coming a little bit predictable, though. So you imagine that Big are going to be accommodating for it. You can see Paulie is holding the line, waiting for the push, but Zaz is a lot closer than anticipated. And Paulie is obviously very low HP from earlier. Does Juliano want to go on a solo mission to clear this back? Oh, oh, oh the gun barrel. Oh, Zaz. Somehow gets two, and there's a little bit of weirdness going on. Jenny R walks through the smoke, but there's another player, Tori. On the other side, completely unknown. Ooh. You can see that there's sus on it. Why was there a player just standing here? Yeah, the, the big fight is Zaz and Spawn as well with the bomb. Tori does deal with it. Can she get the follow? Oh, she can. That's instantaneous. And now Zana has to commit in towards A main. Zaz will collect the kill. Interesting round of CS. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, a little funky. The Zaz gets two here is ridiculous. Juliana's gun barrel blocks the vision. Very unfortunate. And this false by not the greatest to bigger keepers. This could start up being a 6 6 half. Back to A. And to be honest, that one flashbang will keep Imperial there for at least five to ten more seconds. Smoke's coming in. Anna comes it over. You need the rotate. She's completely on her own. Missed shot. Not dealt with. Somehow. Not dealt with. And she finds one. To be honest, that is a huge kill to get because the bomb's not down. Yeah, it really felt like she was going to get nothing from the position. What no. just what? happened with that Molotov? Oh my god. I can't believe that's just happened. It might even have serious ramifications. Can still be recovered. 23 and Cat low. Giuliano on his ass. If she gets this kill, oh, that was everything. Got to be the ace clutch for Pauly. Two players on such little HP, but Zaz on full. Pauly fairly loud about her movements, so Cat knows exactly what's going on. Zaz just holds the line. The Molotov, I don't want to put too much emphasis on it, but it landed no, exactly where they wanted to plant. No, it did. It did completely, like, screw up the round. I'm going to be honest. Did that? That was like a free pointer. That was like a weird-ass clip. Like the... Yeah, that's... Because, look, it completely mollies the site. Like, they can't plant. It completely disrupts them. And then, as a, as a result, they're out of position when the nade break happens. That's excruciatingly painful. Ah, oh, CS2. Fast B. Gravity. Very fast. Zaz. On 15 kills, by the way. Still looking for more. We'll be taken down by the Tech 9, but Tori steps in, doing a lot of damage. Giuliano and Letty, 2v4. Molotovs in each direction. 
Letty falls and Giuliano in an impossible clutch. Mac 10, her weapon that she needs to get it done with. There's a double up in every direction and she's been legged. Surely to be dealt with in a moment. So it will end up being that 6-6 six, six half all tied up. Good game plan, but Imperial will draw level uh, against Bigger Keeper, who now reside on the CT side, and it doesn't matter how good your strats are. If Imperial can just headshot you harder, especially with Zaz, then it can get a little bit tricky. Yeah, considering the way it started, with obviously Big losing the pistol, but then resetting Imperial and being in a really powerful 3-1 kind of position early. Imperial did very well bringing this back. And their T side has a lot of presence towards B. Zaz looking to add more to her kill tally. Only good for the one. Zada, good for a few, good for three. That's that USP in the hands of the sniper. Big, sharp shooting. Completely beheads Imperial. Giuliano takes a few to get hers. Between the two of them, it looks like they're going to wrap it up. Jenny R with the final frag, pissed around for Big. Yeah, uh, and it feels like, it, again, it's on as even as, as it should be between Big and Imperial. You have that one, we'll have our own on the CT side. But that was really impressive from Zana because she's under a lot of pressure here. Trade space in. Got to be critical on Imperial. They just didn't swing together. If a simple 3 2 1 around the corner you go, that would have dealt with Zana. Instead, she takes the lot. And not a force in sight. 
It's just gonna be an eco. Yeah, and a lot of SMGs are big. I like that. Two of them just run forward and jump, you know, just being super loud. Bait out as much utility as possible. We all know that's what people want to do on these rounds. It's not optimal. I mean, it's optimal. It's not fun, but I like that they brought a little bit of fun to try and bait out some extra utility there. No, Zana, you're not the ones meant to be getting the kills. We have four SMGs, Zana. Just sit back and spawn. No, feed the ego. Get more kills, Zana. There we go. No. Mm, very we have good. so many SMGs. Why did you buy so many SMGs? Because you want to get SMG kills. Go get them. Yeah, Polly. That's more like it. Zana, I swear to God. Yes, Zana. No, don't oh, nice. die. Look, your hubris almost causes you death. Who's Hugh? Humongous round for Beekeeper. As they are now two rounds up over Imperial. But they got SMGs into the sun, Brandon. Four SMGs. A whole squadron of smugs. <laughs> Quattro. What do you do? Do you get aggro? Yeah, you do. Look yes. at these players on B. Let's go. Yeah, they're fighting heavy shelf uh, and ramp. Flashbangs to set up. Nades to, to block the pathway. Nades, brilliant. Giuliano deals with Zaz. Uh, and now if you're Imperial, you don't want to counter flash through this. You want to reset and you want to go to A. You're locked out. I love it. What a great call. You always want to pull out a, a fun round on your first gun round versus a T side. Get aggro. Make them feel uncomfortable. And when you've got the SMGs, you're even more enticed to do so. All the utility was perfect there. You can see the Molotovs. There's only one place for Zaz to be. Fully blinded while she's standing there, surrounded by flames, friendless. Her own personal hell. I feel like 23 needs to do more there, to be honest. Uh, as Imperial reset, just, just into a mid-take now, just kind of extending the sight lines with their AKs versus MP9s. I really felt like 23 could have taken the space as soon as all that contact was calmed over. Instead, she suffers at the hands of Zana. Walk through Donut. They got the dink on Zana, so it makes sense to kind of come over here. And Letty, on the jiggle, currently didn't spot anything, so Zana could be a sitting duck. Cat's just going to swing through the flames. That is audacious. Thought she had a timing. Letty does. Yeah, that's a timing. Oh, this is brutal. Imperial on their first gun round on the T side. Don't find a kill. Juliana doesn't find a gun, but... Actually, no, I think it just got thrown in the ground. That is a brilliant round for Beekeeper. Started great, ended better. I really like the setup that they took as well, Beekeeper, because they didn't just give up the control easily, but they were really loud about when they left Shelf. And it was very deliberate because it delays the mid-take from Imperial. And you can have a couple of players spotting out mid, but you know you're going to hear it with the utility that Imperial needs to invest in the middle of the map. And it meant that Letty could come over and support Zana. And it meant that Zana could rotate over towards A in the first place, have that incredibly long sight line on towards 23. I feel like they positioned the weapons perfectly. For Imperial as well, you speak about no kills. How about no bomb plant? No bomb plant since this first half concluded and the second half began since they swapped over to the T sides. They haven't been able to plant the bomb at all, which means that they're stuck in this yo-yo of Tech 9 and then Rifle. Got two players pretty close by. Letty's going to be heavily tested. You can see that utility coming over. Flash is good just to delay the initial play. Molotov comes. Jenny R needs to be here to support. He's going to spot one. Oh, they're already out. HE Forge. She's staying alive behind the big box and she cleans up two. Oh, she's looking for as many as possible. Not quite enough bullets for the full spray down, but how's a quad kill? That'll do. Such a dependable anchor is Letty. And I I've seen Bigger Keeper's Twitter. Shout out if you're watching Bigger Keeper Socials. Um, uh, and they uploaded a clip exactly like this, except it was on a full gun round, where Letty's behind Big Box. 
She uses her utility perfectly to sort of dissect the ongoing attack from A main, and she can split it up into bite-sized pieces, and she's able just to get four kills or even an ace in the instance that they uploaded. But it's awesome to see that her plays can just be replicated, especially against the best team in the world. All right, looking for ledge controls as looking forward and it's going to be spotted surely cleaned up by Giuliano. Yeah, not anticipating that second player. They sent four into middle. Sorry, three into middle. And three, try and come up the ramp. Two fall and give the bomb over. This is domination is for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. Anna's still here. So it's never over until Anna hits the deck. But she doesn't have the bomb. And she's low HP. Good from Letty. Immediately taking the space back away from middle and saying to Bigger Keeper, remain on B, although you've got the bomb. Like, they cannot come middle. So they have to be in cave. They have to be towards ramp. This fight between 23 and Zana decides everything. Yeah, Zana's standing at a freaky off angle too. Oh, she turns though on the flash. Expecting that to be setting up 23. Very clever little maneuver. Paulie tries to run in. You think that kill's free, but it's Anna. So, of course, it comes at a cost, but Letty's timing is so good, but 23 shot is even better. And it's never over. It is never over when there's still players on the Imperial side. Yeah, especially when one of them is Anna. Uh, that's such a that's a really good time, by the way, for Imperial to take a pause. It felt like they were going to do that anyway because it felt like they were going to lose the round. But for, for Bigger Keeper, they just doubt their mid-round. They had everything. They had Letty, who had re-pushed middle. They had the setup, but it's Zana that thinks the flashbang is coming towards her. And she turns away. But she Holy turns away must have been fully it. blinded, so yeah. Zana feels she has to swing. Mm. I don't see any other reason why Zana would turn there. I'm not sure. If we were Paulie's position close to the wall, that wouldn't have blinded her. That's the thing. Well, a 2v4 converted from Imperial. Their first T-side round. It's still a, a long battle for them back into it. But again, we see this deep smoke. Not going to be respected. They're already through. Zaz not even expecting anyone there. She's got a flash in hand. And she is going fast very quickly. Because there is only one player on this side of the server. Good golly, this could get a little bit scary for Big. They put a lot of pressure on A. They get the kill. They might just lose this bomb site. Paulie, the only one over here, needs to stand tall. If she gets one, it is good enough. Flashbang will affect her, but it won't stop her progress in dealing with Tori. And then Zana comes in on the quick rotate. And keep your eye on Juliana because she's flanked all the way through spawn. And that's the bomb dropped. Very important that Paulie stayed alive there. And it was the... Initial contact that Zana took at A main, she was on a bike straight towards B, and then Giuliano took the space that Zana created. Really good sort of heads up play from Bigger Keeper. They've been a really dynamic in these mid rounds, a lot more than they were previous seasons. I think what's really interesting is Imperial, again, it's kind of like that round where you said you wanted 23 to react quicker. Yeah. Imperial go for a very pacey kind of initial ground taking on B. Zana's just charging on through. She gets cave immediately. There's no contact and they don't go off it, right? They, they had such a, a fast call to get that control, but then because they take so long and they just walk up ramp, by that point, as you mentioned, Giuliano's in T-Small. And so even if you found Giuliano there, Zana's arrived, everyone else has arrived and your flank is being pushed. So a little bit too slow in some of these rounds. Yeah, and I also think it, it comes because the, the, the still it, we're still feeling the same sentiment of Imperial are playing reactive to what Bigger Keeper are doing. And it always feels like they're one step behind. And I can tell you why. Because the reason for bursting through this smoke on towards sort of shelf, taking that cave control, is to disrupt Bigger Keeper's scaling ledge because that's what they saw in the previous round, Imperial. Bigger Keeper are applying so much variance here. And they take away your extremity player. And you're right, they needed to react quicker. And it's it's a testament to Big Keeper about how fast they reacted. Because Imperial did go, but Big Keeper were just faster. Really nice combo, by the way. Jenny R breaks the smoke. She's got an extra HE. She just dumps it on Zaz. 
Tori. He's got the hero AK. The rest on pistols. These are the rounds that Imperial make work. Yeah. This is the one that you think big should, by all means, be locking in to get themselves onto 12. And those two opening kills will set them on the right path. Kat has not had a great game today. She's on the sidelines into this one. Tori, the hero AK, does get the kill onto Pauly. She needs to find more. Bomb's being planted. Can't be denied. But Anna's just got a Glock. So if Tori goes down, it's game over. And Jenny R, she's going to make it so. Three kills in the round for her. And that's map point for Bigger Keeper. Anna's got enough money to get an AWP. But this needs to be five rounds in a row now for Imperial. Have we ever seen Imperial go towards A yet? No. Have we actually ever seen Imperial fight towards middle outside of having tech nines? No. It's been the same default round in, round out, take shelf control, fight for cave. But they've been conditioned to do that because the impetus that Bigger Keeper are applying in towards middle has been way too strong for Imperial to sort of fight and fend off. Whenever you've had a little adventure towards A main, you've been shut down by Zana on the AWP. And here she goes again. She's got the spawn, but she's going to go towards Donut instead to hold down middle. It's the same default again from Imperial. You have to find success. Can they do it this time? Three at ramp. Giuliano thinks better of the swing. And they call over Jenny R as well. Or he's trying to progress in middle. This is the difference. They're trying to take this space. Anna falls off. So they can lock out the rotations if Tori progresses around this next bend. Maybe they just continue on an adventure. Zana's running over and is very loud about it. She could be in for a world of hurt. Anna finds Jenny R, and that will probably prompt Zana to go and fight in towards mid, which will probably catch her off. Giuliano needs to be careful. Zana is calling this and deeming it clear. And yeah, that's going to be uh, an unfortunate way for her round to end. Giuliano just jiggling, trying to find something, but finds nothing. And suddenly Imperial are absolutely everywhere. Look at that mid-round variation, though. You actually take control. You actually be being able to push in towards mid. And that's because they do it on a timing where Bigger Keeper leave. And where Imperial have not shown any threat there this entire th second half. You can just creep in very slowly. And then play off the contact and off the reactions that Bigger Keeper are going to do in their natural rotations. Because they're unaware that you're there in Red Room. Yeah, that's a bigger keeper just giving that space over to Imperial. The first time I've not seen them go for an aggressive setup at some position on the map and try and catch players off. They, they're sitting very passive. They have a couple of play, extra players towards the A side, but when there's no contact early, Zana rotates, as we saw, coming to Red Room. But you've got no one in a forward position anywhere, not even cave, nothing. So they're playing a bit in the dark, and so Imperial just creep in. Needed a donut player there. If you had a donut player there, that, that round goes a lot smoother. Uh, and Zana did actually start donut, but then rotated away towards A main. I feel like Letty needed to be the, the player sort of scoping out middle there. Can't allow yourselves to get in your own heads here, big. The last thing you want to do is allow Peer Imperial a chance to get back into this game. Oh, Great damage on the Tory. Taz might also be in a bit of danger here too. They're just creeping up. Yeah, Paulie's going to swing out. Can't believe her eyes. Cat's on a bomb site. 23 looking to trade and does so successfully because Zana is sitting towards long with the AWP in hand. Hits her shot. So the trade is there. Tori low in a main and might be calling this loud rotation from Letty. So the bomb is going to return. Anna. Oh, oh Giuliano. Oh, that timing is unbelievable. They can win this round now. But it's Jenny R's position in Donut. This is the, the one key piece that Big needed in the previous. Now Letty's over here with Zana. Anna just hoping and praying to be offered up anything. And because you're worried about middle now, there is that timing in which Imperial could exploit Red Room. That's why Letty is on the swivel. Zana delegated to holding ramp. Letty's gun barrel doesn't protrude around the corner. She now has a jiggle and Anna caught off by it. 
And here is Jenny R in Donut still. So Zaz will start to try and make moves. Jenny R should have her covered. This should be game, set, match for Bigger Keeper. Yeah, unless Zaz catches the timing to look back. Jenny R on um, four by three, doesn't see her. Oh no, but she'll hear her. So it's okay. It doesn't matter. Four by three apologists win today as is big on map one. And honestly, that CT side looked worlds above Imperials. And that was the big difference. But I'll tell you what, be a keeper. Yeah, no, get ahead of yourselves because be a keeper took this map, surprising everybody. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll go one step further with that. Be a keeper took that map pretty convincingly. Yeah, and I feel like it's a map where she'll slot in pretty comfortably. And I think it's also a map that Zana loves to, to take fights with the AOP on the CT side. So if she's continuing the red hot fawn that we saw on Ancient, oh baby, we really have a series on our hands. I think the the thing that people are going to underrate about Letty is how much she brings as an anchor. I feel like if she plays Pit on Inferno, that will be phenomenal. And of course, Bigger Keeper are going to start here on the CT side. Fast in second mid. And Jenny R takes a pause. Can she hear all of this? Certainly think so. Yeah, yeah. rotation's on the way. She hangs around for a second to see if they're coming. And okay, this is gonna get a bit bit brawly, and Big should know that this is a possibility. Polly, oh, it's gonna spot one, but Anna has taken two. Polly needed the second, but Anna has taken things into her own hands. Three kills for her. Tori gets Giuliano. And this looks like it's gonna be an Imperial pistol every day of the week. Jenny R might not even get past ramp if she's lucky. No, Tori blindsides her. Yeah, that was really cool from Imperial. I uh, like the, the pace setting they did. They got no resistance. There was no jump in towards the apartments, like second mid peak. And normally if you see a player that jumps in towards second middle, you can assume there's another one there. But they find no contact there. They find nothing in top brackets. So when they go into arches, they just stop and they get all the audio. That was really well worked from Imperial. And they're here to play. They're not here to muck about. This is their home and they're about to show you why. Yeah, it feels like a, maybe a, a mistaken response to Jenny R's info. Maybe it wasn't conned over clearly. There was a lot of players coming, but I feel like Big Keeper weren't 100% ready for them to already be in CD spawn. But yeah, very cool response. Nice little flashbang forward for the USB. Oh, can't quite get it done. Tori gets away. And this eco round, because that's what it is. No force by this time in the second round. We're going the way of Imperial and at the moment looking casualty less. In the other game, Let Her Cook versus Spirit, that's gone the way of Let Her Cook in map one. 13-6 is pretty dominant. Now it's on Anubis too, which is the, that was the pick off Spirit. So you got Ancient, of course, the, the classic <laughs> Let Her Cook pick. So that could be a quick 2-0 with the way that map is first map started. When did? Here are the guns. Here's the exciting thing. Uh, a utility, uh, a little bit sparse, particularly Jenny R, Zana, like Pauli and Letty have got no flashbangs either. Four I'm plays that head armor too. Mm, yeah, that's a little bit dicey, but there's only one Mac 10, but the Galil's become a lot more potent and Letty will be occupying that balcony and pit position. Yeah, they knew Galil's were in play because 23 got a double kill. <laughs> so calculated risk. Not one I personally ever rate. We've got a contact play up top mid. Sada gets one, falls back. It's brought down to half, so they do want to trade her out. She's very loud in her run around library and she could be in trouble. 23 has managed to slip the net. Sana has no idea that she's gotten by. Gonna find out the hard way. How is Sana alive? 23 can't quite convert with the Galil. Surely good for it now, will convert. Now you imagine they just split B. Yeah, so something had to be changed left big keeper. We'll talk more about it in a moment because as they clear top brackets, this is a good flash play, but 23 is already on the way through the smoke. Now they know that Giuliano's here and it gets a little bit muddled. And Paulie once again asked to hold on nearly, but not quite. And Zaz with the MAC-10. It's a plant on B, but the rotations are here really quickly. Yeah, very fast. Can you get this first kill cleanly just about? 
Not a kill on either of these two players. Post line position is strong. No way to flush out new box. You see Anna was scampering towards it. So are you expecting 23 to be lying in wait? Surely you're going to be anticipating the possibility. Letty spots her and she swings. Can't get the kills as now known. MAC-10, not the job. Weapon for the job, I should say. And Jenny R able to convert it. So in the two on three, bigger keeper are there so quickly that it doesn't matter that the site falls. Yeah, uh, and that, that's the important thing. And th to be honest, they've recovered it really well. But what I would have liked to have seen from Bigger Keeper, rather than Letty dropping a defensive smoke in towards apps, she takes that space with Jenny. Or she drops the smoke in towards apartments and Jenny and her push short at the moment that Zana has fallen off long and is taking contact. She would have calmed over that more players are pushing on her position. Bigger Keeper needed to take space back, cut the site in half and sort of reevaluate. They get away with one there because of the speed of the rotation on the retake, but that could come back to bite them in the future. Yeah, I did like the flash play. It's just that the flash blinded Giuliano. I feel like if, she, if it had been placed a bit better, it could have worked out. Bit of aggression down Banana. Zaz meets Paulie, and well, it's not a friendly exchange of pleasantries. So I think that's where Giuliano's smoke was intended to go. So they do have to concede control. Now, Imperial are forced towards the A site, where they have got a fair bit of control towards brackets, but Zana is jiggling, and now Giuliano begins to rotate. Imperial have really been exploiting long. They recognised it as a weakness. Jenny can also ask for a flashbang, but one won't come in in time because Zana is the one with them. She's over at Cold Zero. So at the moment, you've got Imperial encroaching on all fronts. There are players here, but they're going to be unexpected here. 23 finds the first. There's that pushing from long. This is much better than what I was talking about the round before and Letty stays alive on site, anchoring down A. And even though Tori might have a way in, Paulie still remains on B. Yeah, Nash can call the reinforcements. So oh, that got a little scary. Paulie able to convert the headshot and that's a well played from Big. Even with 23 getting that kill from Truck, the immediate response to push out long and they don't just swing together. They swing as one, go one for one, and then Anna is not expecting that second player. Using the number advantage they had perfectly and yeah, Letty also pushing forward at the same time. All of this happening at once. The comms get cluttered from Imperial and they get overwhelmed and put back on the pistols. Yeah, that's, that's really good from Bigger Keeper. And that's more what I was expecting out the previous round where, where they lost the long control. This time it was they lost short, but they fought in the other direction. No nades, which means top banana can be occupied by big. Zaz scaling. Paulie might get caught with nades out. Flashbang. Zaz is able to overwhelm. No head armor on Paulie. That's an instant headshot. Yeah, that's not a rifle that can be picked up. No, there isn't armor on any of these T's, so you think it should all be okay. And in fact, the AK gets funneled forward. Good little molly. Sun has also arrived, a flashbang set up Giuliano. They really don't want to allow Imperial to get anything from this round. 23 spotted, so her luck going to be ineffectual. Although, yeah, Jenny R should be <laughs> anticipating this, then she is. She's alone. So if she gets popped on, this may be some cause for concern, but she does not. Now, I thought she was actually playing in the little cubby that's mm. it's not new anymore in CS2 because the game's been out a year. Happy birthday, CS2. But no, she was just, she was just in front of the smoke. And it worked perfectly. They just walked straight into her. She's like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Easy does it. Great Molly from Giuliano, as you mentioned. And then a clean up on the Eeks for Jenny R. Your keeper getting to the lead. Imperial's guns return. What's their play? Fast banana control being fought for, but also in the second middle. Can the scale slowly? Very default. For Imperial, but they do get a lot of control banana. Big Keeper are making a read into this. And they think, well, Long's been exploited so much from Imperial that they're maybe going to try apps. 
So they are currently focusing their attention on it. And Imperial are in there. Zana missed shot. Zaz punishes. There are two more players here on B. You can hear Pauli rotate away. And now you see the molly from Giuliano. Yes, a lot of infancy. Zaz incredibly vocal about it. And look towards Long. Kat has walked all the way around. She spotted. But gets around the corner. And her presence alone is going to be a pain. Jenny looks back. And that's when 23 strikes. But can't finish the meal. Shots don't quite connect. Jenny R is feeling the pressure. 23 just trying to run her down and will do so. Juliana catches off Cat. This is still a little weird. Letty knows 23's in the sight. We'll deal with her. Now the focus goes into B where Paulie gets success. And you've still got another player. Not even needed yet. Juliana is just firing off shots. I think she may have even hit a leg shot there on the door through the box. Continuing. To put the pressure on, Tori can't win this round. Imperial looked like they'd played to perfection with the spacing, but Big's repositions completely catch them. Uh, and honestly, again, this is why we highlighted Letty as the Kadia player to watch. Because notice how much trust Bigger Keeper put in her in this mid round. Sure, Jenny R falls. She gets a little bit overwhelmed, but no one rotates. It's Giuliano that just looks back in towards CT, gets a crucial warp kill, but no one overstays their welcome in CT. They let Letty work, and she's able to get the kill. She can communicate over, well, actually, I don't need you anymore, guys. Stay B. And that's why Paulie and Giuliano are set up to succeed. And Imperial call a timeout at a very good point just to kind of mentally reset themselves. Where can we exploit? Long the obvious answer. I think an apps pop would be great here. I know I love an apps pop, but, but it would Dang. work here for Imperial. Or maybe just fast banana, because they have been able to get space up towards car. Yeah, I mean, they found the opening kill on B. Two rounds in a row. So that is looking like quite the possibility. Three players storm up the banana, jumping past the utility, but the HEs still do quite a damn lot. Giuliano's going to drop the smoke in anticipation, but they're going to burst through the spray, doing damage, but the Tech Nines do break through. That's an AK picked up. Space gathered, Giuliano lobbing utility over. Three CTs arrive, bomb still not planted. The longer it takes, more concern for Imperial. Anna will manage to get it down behind the fountain, but smoke fades. Yeah, Flashbang trying to break this setup, and ooh, it doesn't quite do it for Jenny. She now swings wider, and that invites the Tech Nine and Zaz to take her head off. The tough round to try and recover now, and the flashbang does not help things. It complicates matters for Bigger Keeper. Zana left alone. She needs to try and get around the corner. She just about does it, but Imperial, they're going to start hounding her down. You can't overstay too much, Imperial, but they will be able to get it over. The Tech Nines, a resounding success. It's Hot Panada. You could kind of see that falling apart if they walked into a crosshair with the P250. We know how prolific Zana can be. But it was the right play in the end. It's Imperial that still applied pressure and now add the squeeze on the finances of Bigger Keeper. That flashbang's MVP. <laughs> Giuliano is in a position to take every single player out. That's that's the first Imperial round. Like that Imperial one. You know, like an Imperial round? Yeah. The ones that you don't think they should be winning, but they always win. Again, an open up. Cats heard the audio. We heard it from her POV of Zana jumping back. It's a smoke off long. Try and take the space in towards short. Here's this double app set up. Letty, over the top, we'll deal with 23. And now she falls off, makes noise, and that sets up Jenny. That's a cheeky little one way, isn't it? I like that. Didn't like that incendiary. That didn't do anything. Now you got two opening kills. You've expended the bulk of your util, but Polly is just sitting on B and has a smoke. So if she just gets the info and falls back, she will have achieved everything she needs to. Uh-oh, under pressure. She can't drop the smoke. She has to try and stand and deliver. Goes one for one at least, not down for free. So still keeps a two-player advantage, but Anna is alive. Ah! 
Is she? Spoke to you soon. <laughs> That's unlucky. <laughs> oh, no. I was setting it up. The cat is alive. <laughs> Cat's alive, Brandon. She can go There's eight touch? she goes now. Oh, she goes seconds. right now. They're just pausing. Like, literally, they're, they're not moving. Is that, is that right? Are they good? No, they are all just there. Just not moving. All right, bomb to planted. What can Kat do? This would be something special. And after her ancient, she's looking for that moment of redemption. There's no kits. No kits. And a Molotov. The 1v3 ace clutch. Juliana doesn't spot her. Cat has all the info. At least on one position. So the first kill. Oh, the trigger discipline for a moment. Gets that one locked in. Now they arrive. They know exactly where she is. Molotov forward. Gonna land on the bomb. Do they have a smoke? Hello? Oh my god. Oh my it. god. It's not the ace clutch. But you better believe it's the 1v3. And that's a top five play of the day. As soon as she gets the kill on Juliana, she just pulls the molly. Because, of course, if Big had any utility, you'd fully expect them to already be dispensing it over the site, wouldn't you? That was the round winning play. That was the only play that she could make. And Cat was alive. And Cat delivers for Imperial. 1v4, in fact, sorry. Because she gets that first kill from the biggest up position. That's two Imperial rounds now. <laughs> back to back to... Good golly. Tori, one for one in middle. You get the control momentarily. Blow the smoke, but no. Don't spot anything off it. Oh, this is... I like this from Big. Walk, push, apps. Together. No. They back out of it. The hog was good before. Yeah, they're going to change setup. Third player's come over as well. Juliano's here. All the util is on Letty and Pit. So she can smoke herself if she gets mollied. Yeah, she'll need to deliver... Smoking apps at a really nice timing. Gun spotted. Zana. Known. Does she really want to swing this? Off back of her flash, she could. Out long comes the contact. Giuliano takes down her former comrade and Letty over the top. Catches Cat's head. But Brandon, Anna is alive. <laughs> <laughs> 2 v for it. Oh, that's a nice flick. Still two players on the side. Oh, Paulie feels uncomfy now. Are they... Faking the run back. Faking They're faking the run. run They're trying back. to get the rotate. But Zana happening. doesn't bite on it. Yeah, Letty. She's going to wait. The smoke comes over. You've got to clear out the back of the site. Zana, checked. But are you ready for Letty? Not quite. There's the first on the MP9 and the second. The bomb will go down, but it's Letty the clutch again. Huge impact round from Letty. I'm going to play the time just to allow all the weaponry to be collected. And again, nice maneuvers from Big when it's getting uncomfortable there, when you've got two players on site. Juliana gets up close in the long angle, looking for that crawl, because Imperial like to do that. They like to have players just getting through and sneaking into your back lines. It's compensated for. And Letty's kill over the top of the truck onto Cat is massive. Really puts Pyrrhal on the back foot. Anna with that kill gives them something. I started to sweat when 23 clears Zana, but Letty so fast on the response, doesn't even allow that player that's planting to pull out her weapon. Don't get glocked. Don't get ecoed. You've already lost one of these rounds, Bigger Keeper, where you feel like you definitely should have had the advantage. This should currently be 6-3 if it wasn't for Cat's Heroics. Well, I mean, there was a round before as well with the Tech Nines that should have been True. there. So 7-2 seven, seven, could be the scoreline, but instead... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Don't get is, blocked. That is not much of a dink. It's not, but it's still scary. 
Yeah, whenever you hear that sound on yourself, I feel like you just you just panic. You shudder. I shudder. Yeah, right. shudder. It's it's a shudder moment. Nightmarish scenario. I am slightly worried, and I like this from Imperial that they're going to maybe try and pop onto the side that's got the orb because you've got pistols. So if there's only two defenders here and you overwhelm the orb, puts a lot of emphasis now onto Pauly to step up. What? 99 and 1 with the AWP? That's not fair. The hell? She keeps shooting, she keeps vying for it. And in steps Pauly overwhelmed. Uh oh. No way. Zada swaps the USP. The pistol is better than the sniper in this situation. Tori tries to plant the bomb, but it's Zana around the corner. Not today, Imperial. <laughs> that was like such an uncomfortable round to watch. I can't believe Pauly gets glocked. DGG. Uh, Don't get glocked. Outrageous. <laughs> Well done from Zana. Gets the two hard kills with the USP and then she can finish off the job she started with the 99 in one orb shot. So 6 4. Oh, second mid push. Oh, yeah, they want to get aggro. Flashbang. Yeah, they're pushing straight in. Cat overwhelmed after one. 23 drops as well. Imperial's response obviously to go to B, but Zana lies in wait. AWP in hand. Spots one. Misses the shot. Just about able to get to new box. They don't pounce immediately, but it doesn't matter. Zana still hits. Oh, sorry, Zad still hits the shot onto Zana. Poorly, the critical one onto Tori. Hunter and Zaz. Bomb to be planted. Zaz forward gets another 2v2. And Zaz makes it into a 1v2 for Letty. Can she pull off another clutch for Imperial uh, for Big? Show Imperial. She's not to be messed with. Zaz known. So this kill will be hers, but now you got Anna to deal with. Spotted. How do you get past this AWP? Wide swing? Yes, but Anna hits the shot. And it's another round where Big have all the advantages. Two opening kills, and yet Imperial still pull it off. Yeah, but that's a really good reaction from Imperial. Because, you know, instantaneously, you can just swarm B. And Zana needed to hit one shot here. And she doesn't. As soon as you see just two players flooding second apps, one player supporting with a flashbang. My question is, where's the second player sort of on B? Well, in fact, they were fighting second mid as well. Imperial had all the info, all the advantage. They're able to get that round through. Last round of play in the first half, Paulie's been so good at this fight on Banana. And she will grab it again, but not the follow-up. Zaz will trade immediately. She's full stuff. By the Molotov. Bit of aggression to the apartments. 23 oft known to inhabit that area. Go long. They are going to. They know that this is the gap. Oh, it really is the gap. If they walk through and wrap onto B. This has to be calmed. You, you got to calm this over that this is a possibility. I hate Let's this setup the bigger keeper have. On the B-bomb site, given well, that CT is exposed. Yes, but you're also holding it from the bottom player. Oh. Would you would you expect this if you cat? No. Yeah, but... Oh, this is weird. You, you're going to die, die from, from coffins. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're done for. Oh, Jenny's on the pistol as well. Yeah, this is... Okay, they got the kill on Giuliano. Now you know players are coming. Jenny are. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised she didn't push through to grab the rifle, but I guess she didn't know the other player was there. But you've seen Anna on an orb? Surely you don't expect her to be alone. It is Anna. Tough call to make, though, in that position. Two on two. You know that Imperial generally win from these positions. So what a big got to show. Letty has a little bit of util. Smoke. Towards Banana. That's not where Imperial line wait. And in century will be disruptive. I don't see a kit. So that could be a concern, but maybe it won't be any matter where you're going to matter because Anna and Kat both there get their kills. And oh my God, I'm fumbling over my words, but this is a 6 6 score line tied up just like Ancient.
Six six, but it's Imperial's aura that gets them the majority of their rounds. I mean, I don't know how many rounds yeah. Bigger Keeper are kind of let slip against them, but it feels like it should be a lot more dominant. Zan's jump spot in, oh, really jump spot in. See if anyone's in second mid, and it's the bomb. Hello. Okay. Imperial have like the opposite CT setup that Big Keeper have, but they got four and eight. What on B. This is a bit more conventional though, I feel, especially because you got the kit and all the bits and bobs. Alright, that's gonna fool nobody. I'm telling you right now, that mode of smoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just swing on her. Like, you know, we just know that this is not this it's is not cap. anything. Letty's oh. still in apps. Yeah, yeah so Letty still being here is actually really uh it pulled cat off a little bit. And Letty got a kill! So huge impact from Letty. She's still alive. They still have to worry about her. They have two players dedicated to dealing with her and they all fall. Letty's playing her own bloody game over on the A bomb site. Meanwhile, it's Anna versus the world on B and she has a kit. No way. No, she's not sticking it. Oh, oh my she God. Can now. She can now. She can just stick it. Letty, knife out. You got to run, girl. You're not making it. Oh my God, Anna. Oh, Imperial, how do you keep getting away with these rounds? How do you keep getting away with how these rounds? How do you keep a fumble that? Oh, my goodness me. Why? Why? Bigger keeper. 
please. You left it everything and more. You couldn't have asked for more. She got three kills. She killed the entire A side. Well done, Anna. That was sick. Well done, Anna. That Best in the world. <laughs> Best in the bloody world. Oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> That's another one. No apps pop today, Brandon. No, so Tori's gonna deny it. Oh, look at the pixel. Oh, you're so cringe. I love it. It's so meta. Hold a little pixel. Drop the incendiary. Is she going to stop it? Yeah, she is. Oh, just for a moment. It's Paulie. Oh, it's Paulie with the tech nine. She finds free. And that's bigger keeper exploded onto A. It's the force buy on T side and it works again. Where's your god now, Imperial? Forced to watch from the sidelines as Kat and Zaz need a 2v4. Bigger keeper did the same thing to them on Ancient, lost the pistol, but then broke their backs in round two. Difference this time is that Imperial will at least look to live with two players. The Pauly, we'll have to see the, the replay back from her POV as she just strolled in, just shot heads. I really like that from Tori. She was playing the little pixel. She gets so nerdy with it, dropping the incendiary and then focusing the, the full brunt of her attack on towards the balcony. And it just didn't matter. It's probably the, the only thing that can stop her is the bomb. <laughs> she just doesn't stop holding W. Oh, amazing. Let's go. Tech nines, baby. That's an Imperial round. The Imperial fourth, and it keeps some spare change for a future kill. Uh, off, and Zaz gets the kill on Azana, traded immediately. She has a cheeky little angle. Still three defenders on A. It's a little spooky. We know the five sevens can do some damage. Tori's MP9. Did she see anything? It doesn't seem like it. She's quiet on the comms. Anna, what can she do with this five seven? Needs to do everything. And oh my God, she gets two. How does she get two? It's armorless. But certainly not auraless. As the bomb gets planted and a 2v2, a retake that you know Imperial give a look in. Oh, they've got a Molly as well. Letty has got a smoke, but they might just swing onto Giuliano and they will get the kill. Letty thrown into a 1v2, tucked behind the bomb site. So can hear them encroaching in, but they get overwhelmed and diced up by the SMGs. Do bigger keeper. It's Imperial on the fight back, and it's Anna with the double five seven header. How does she do it? How does she get through there? That wins the round. <laughs> like, that wins the round getting through there. Juliana getting nothing from that position is also criminal. That feels like a guarantee. She's there on put in an intentional position to take a fight and loses the fight. But this is ridiculous that that kill doesn't come quicker. I don't think Juliana should be playing there. In no. The 2v2. You've got a nice crossfire and you've got the re-smoke that can go down on Moto. So you can just watch short in the crossfire. It feels way too overcommitted. You can't be giving these rounds up to Imperial. You can't allow them anywhere back in the game because this has been Imperial not at their best. But this is still making Imperial look like they're the better team. They will always find a way to win. It's in their DNA. Anna's up. Searching. Oh. <laughs> so that's the one that she gets the kill. Just a random old shot through the smoke. Zaz sidelined. 
I mean, you know, she's she's good for this kill. Yeah, this keeps Cat anchored as well over at B. You can see that Giuliano's still making inroads. You don't want to peek this if you're big. You need to see what Giuliano can find. Jenny's made it across, but the swing is not good enough. Anna back on her favorite angle. She always gets a multi from this, I swear. And she's pushing even further. She's taking the initiative. Backstab connects on Jenny Art. And now you're forced to go B. And Tori's ahead of the rotation. You, you just can't play slow against Imperial because they, they're, they're perfect at taking these timing peaks. And, and it's ready. No look, look how, look how freaking ready she is. Time for a pause, big. Not in this round, but in the next. Or well, maybe now. That's fine, too. Just got read like a book. And the thing is that they deviate away from what was working so well on Ancient. And it was them that were taking the map control. It was them that was being proactive. Think back to that force by round that works well against Imperial. It's because they're the ones setting the tempo. And you hit the nail on the head. As soon as they slow down, as soon as you allow these individual peaks, you're giving Anna all of this room to breathe. She's played that round over a thousand, two thousand times. She knows exactly where these players are going to be. Double digits for Imperial on the horizon. Unless the Keeper can pull out an Imperial-esque round with very little... But nothing. Save a flash. You do not fancy their chances. Especially if it goes to B, because it is a triple lean that way. Add up. Actually, they're not going B. They're going A. Molly, good. Try the force through, and Anna hits the shot, of course. Fully blinded. 23 slides in. So, yeah. I, you know what? There, there could have been a way if it was anyone but Anna, but it was Anna. So, Unlucky. Yeah. You start to question just sort of how the, the coach, like ramifications of, of high ski leaving would affect Imperial, especially with the leadership of Kat being so new to the role. But she's been doing it since the start of the year now. And Tori. Tori. Tori, yeah. I, I keep getting that confused. I don't know why. Tori's been doing it since the start of the year. My apologies. But this team's just got such the like a mental edge. And it always feels like they're always in control, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstance is. Until that round count hits 13, they're always in it. The explosion at Banana, they do get the control, cost Giuliano half her HP. Nothing dissuades Anna. It's like a cheat code, isn't it? She will not budge. Until her game sense starts tingling. And she might move. We're going to do the retake utility to try and flush someone forward into her. But believe that Paulie is just sitting behind the half wall. I like this. So you've seen, you've seen the half wall utility. You know that's a, a molly. You know that's a smoke gone. So big just say... That's the guaranteed info. It is you've got less utility on this B bomb site, so they're just going to exec with limited utility. Look, one smoke, one flash it is going to be a a cobbled together exec, but it's going to be one nevertheless. Yeah, the first time Imperial are actually in the dark on on A, they just get the information on long now. No one's there. Flash over though, oh. Anna hits the timing shot. Of course, got to pay the Anna toll to get in. Cat gets hers too. She drops back, flashed over the top. Anna not able to hit the second target, but Kat does find hers, and there's Anna. It's a lockdown. The lurk gets found too. Nothing for big. This T side just doesn't have the juice. What a shame, because the CT side looked really good. But Imperial just entered a, a league of their own. This is now two rounds out of two that Anna's been flashed off an angle, and she still gets a kill. <laughs> it's just... It's not fair. Like shot. <laughs> of course. Well. Twelve. 
nice and easy. Kat's had a great resurgence. She has. Here on, on Inferno. I felt like it kicked off with that 1v4. And she's really, really finding that form on the B bomb side. We know she's one of the strongest B anchor players out there. Showing us right now. I think you said last year, like, this is Kat's best map by far. Yeah, absolutely. I was worried losing Vilka, how that would affect her over that. But it feels like Zaz's playstyle, again, had this conversation earlier, does mesh well with that, so... Only three. Get success onto Letty. Ooh, good trade, though. Finally, uh, a little bit of relief here for Big, that they're able to stop this and actually trade it, which is really important. This setup feels brutal on Banana. It's just the contact between Juliana gets the first. Pauly needs to trade. Zaz knows she's here. They're both locked in. Who was out there? Aim head-to-head. -head. It's Zaz. Oh, well, Zana, 1v3, bomb not in her hands. Juliana oh. leaves it onto her, but it's a good kill. It's been a bit of redemption for Zana, who, despite that dominant first map, has really slowed down. Needs to find this kill, can't get it done. It's Zaz with the triple instead, and it's Imperial taking their map pick. That's more like it from Imperial, but that game could have been lost and won in that first half because bigger keeper i feel like they should have won maybe eight or nine of those first half rounds and imperial found a way to win three it is in every best of three they just exude confidence obviously they are seven times esl impact champions you gotta have that confidence and teams are scared teams are scared when things don't go to plan well let's see can bigger keeper bounce back after a rough inferno loss I gotta remember, they did it with style on Ancient, and there's still a chance for them to upset Ooh. versus Imperial. Especially 23 taking a little bit of extra damage from a teammate in spawn. She it off. Double underpass is being covered. They need to scale this together, and it doesn't go well. Zaz up close with the Glock. Already finds the opening two kills. Now Giuliano's put on notice in window. Uh, yeah, nice notice. Okay, she just flushed out after one, but look tough for her to even get one. Oh, uh, yeah, but the big problem is that you've lost everyone else. So, and Anna's also in the back lines. I, I don't think there's a way that Big Keeper can win this. Anna no. should kill Letty in a second. Spots her at least. So now they know she's just going to slow walk on her. Zana's dually is going to swing out, but she immediately gets gooshed before she can even hit the ground. Let's get a kill. But Letty, if she had a kit, you might think, oh, maybe a ninja is possible, but Anna will finally get the kill that she started hunting about 30 seconds before that. Yeah, nice round up, Imperial. Zaz getting those two crucial fights in underpass just sets them up. And from there, it's the immediate acceleration. They tag and go blow for blow with Giuliano in jungle and then it's Zaz that scales and that allows the space for connector players just to come around and flank and then Anna the entire time is just in the back line. Strong start from Imperial. They get the ball rolling. Big and Imperial have been 50-50 on pistols so far and that trend might be set to continue. Anna finds Letty. That is sharp. Yeah, Zaz does comp her a bit of damage. You're not expecting much here. One thing I didn't expect, Brandon, while this yeah. plays out, is that Letter Cook Spirit, after Letter Cook dominated Spirit on Anubis 13 6, on Ancient Letter Cook's home territory, it's got OT, and Spirit drew first blood in the OT. So maybe a potential upset could be happening in the B group. Maybe. I think it's really cool to see that... Oh, my shot. It's really cool to see that Team Spirit, with Krazzy making these changes, they are hitting the ground running. And whilst you're not favoured to win against Leather Cook, you're bringing it close. Can Giuliano do any more damage here with the AK? No armour. It's going to be tricky. And 23 comes around the corner to bail out Cat. So two kills is not the end of the world, but it was a full eco. 
full gun round. Now equipped here. Equipped. Damn it. Equipped. Yeah, the way you said it. Oh. Yeah, it sounded like quipper. It was right there. Full buy. I'll save it. I'll put it in the pocket. Keeper. Big team. That's the low-hanging fruit one. Zaz. Takes some damage, but does get a ladder quickly. Molly immediately drops, so there's no secret to her presence. Exchange of utility. He she goes both ways. Zaz is just going to have to park here and... See if she can catch someone on a rotate. You feel that like she's not going to be the primary initiator now that she's so low. Oh, this is a good reaction. So Paulie's got on a push through Palace. And this can set the third player up on B here. Okay. This is great in forgathering. They Julian keep have everything go. they need. Oh, Zaz is... Sorry, Zana's rotating away a little bit. Jenny, now feeling the pressure. Molly will tick her, but out the window comes Kat, and here comes Letty. It's that reinforcement on B that we're just speaking about, but Zaz arrives in a big way. Finds two kills back. Zana needs to claim one of these lives on the site to allow time for the team to rotate over, and she can't do it. Absolute BS that Zaz is even alive. <laughs> How? Unreasonable. Two players... A stiff breeze would take them down. But it has to be bullets. You have to find them. And they're elusive. Zaz will get caught. Tori repositions and hits another headshot. That's two players that have gotten kills when they should barely be living. Look at the health. Oh, my goodness. Maybe Paulie can still do it. No, the player, she runs through it. And it doesn't matter. Anna on the other side. Imperial. How do they win that one? Oh, how do they do it? How do they keep getting away with it? That's three kills on players that are on 30 HP combined. And this decides to go so well. This was the two opening kills found out by both Jenny R and Letty. And then Zaz just does this. The big one for me is that the Zana should just be playing behind the pillar and just jiggling. I know you need to get info, but she exposed herself a little bit too much on the balcony. And a cook team spirit of 14-14. I can't believe Imperial win that round. Oh, Jenny saw the gun barrel. Oh, it matter. doesn't matter. That's the mop up. Not even armor, so it doesn't matter. Juliana gets the worst weapon possible to. Well, that's a little sad for Big Keeper. It will be a four lead for Imperial. But I think the key thing here is we should see the AWP in the next round for Zana. Anna might actually is probably likely to bring it out too. You, you expect her to drop that AK over to 23 and buy one. How? <laughs> no armor, I guess. Dude, Zaz but... has like some sort of magical buffer around her, like a shield. You could call it an aura. You could say that Zaz has a lot of aura and that keeps her alive in situations where she shouldn't. They had everything in that previous gun round, Bigger Keeper. That will come back to haunt them. Lessons learned and mistakes made, and you can't do that against the best. Here is that AWP for both parties. Anna, currently immortal. The game plan for Imperial has been very direct in towards mid. They're applying a lot of pressure very early. And this is something different we haven't seen out of them in either map so far. Zana's going to get smoked off. They're going to burst through. Giuliano needs to be ready and not quite for the second player underneath. 23 catches Jenny R in short. Imperial uh, apply pressure across the entirety of the map. Oh, that's a brutal one for Letty. 23 just peeks straight into your angle. This is my fault, Big Keeper fans.
Oh, get away with the orb. Now it's going to be hunted. Bombs are even planted. Nice shot. That should alleviate a little bit of pressure, but we're in period of one, four rounds in a row. You can imagine they will be hunting this. You can already see that 23 is very much interested. I think the game plan here for Imperial is they've identified that they can get the best of Jenny R on short. And they are relentlessly putting pressure on her. Applying a lot of overwhelm. Uh, and she's struggling. The thing is, you're going to have to adjust this if you're big. You might have three players lean B, double up in towards short, and then that leaves A open. You might even see Imperial go for a set play in one of these rounds that's coming up. Let's say the default's just working, right? Taking middle, it's it, they're getting it without contest. But you're expecting some sort of variation to come from bigger keeper. You want to get a step that. ahead. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate that's, that Juliana doesn't spot the one directly beneath her. At least money's there to support the, the full purchase across the board. Here's our set play. And yep. here's the adjustment, look. Yep. <laughs> you love it oh, when everything yeah. just happens, how you think it's going to happen. I should be a coach. It's just chess. Well, I, I hear I can... Imperial's looking. Yeah. I mean, look, they're doing fine without one. I mean... Yeah, what would this you is... about it here? Literally nothing. No. Shut up, Brandon. We already were going to do that. Holy. Oh, I felt like she had a cool timing, but Tori able to swing and adjust. Nice kill from Jenny through the smoke. And Juliana gets one too. A lot of damage done. Masana's oh. hit one with the AWP. 23 gets revenge. And Anna just holds the line with the orb, waiting for that peak. Maybe she's the one that brings the peak. Sana gets the better of her. 20 needs three. And they're all in CT. Boom. Hard to collect as well. And she's playing in the dark. Doesn't know where anyone saves Zana is right now. Gonna get that info. Oh my god, they line up. And it's Zana with the AWP. She knows she's low. Surely pistol comes out. One bullet will do. One bullet will do. And Zana finds that killing blow. Bigger keeper, get on the board. And breathe. And breathe. It's all fine, bigger keeper fans. Really good reaction out of Bigger Keeper. As soon as I see the smokes come in, it's just the, the proactive rotations. Here are these opening kills. They're just fighting forward through a lot of these smokes in CT. Zana hits some blinders in this round and then recovers away from 23. Team Spirit do end up taking that map off Letter Cook. Letter Cook is ancient. It goes through Ooh. the slider there. That's crazy. After such a stomp on map one. Oh, you're Just banger three more times for the kills, I know. <laughs> she gets away. Was, was Letty spotted? Or Ooh, definitely known about my now. Oh, Lord, Letty. You're playing with fire, quite literally. And it gets into position where she can just hold the line. Zana's holding a line as well. A lot of lines being held. Who will tame them? That's the question. Oh, Anna, surely. Oh, look at this from Jenny. She just doesn't peek it. And now the cross is in. It's Zana that gets overwhelmed. And Letty can only find one on the back of sight. And you've still got this lurk coming through from Zad and Connector. Oh, complete disorientation put forward by Imperial. This is a retake you feel like you've got to go for if you're big. Yeah, it's not a comfortable one. Tori's low. She's actually been given the orb. No, picked up the orb. Sorry, from Zana. A temporary measure. Let's see what she can do with it. Oh, she can do pretty darn well. Good Anna impression. That one didn't come from the Anna rule book, but, you know, the first page she read was pretty good. The uh, collateral doesn't quite get the second kill, but it's enough to win the round. Saving MP9. I don't even know if she'll be allowed. Uh, swing Wally. No, okay, it's all good. She is allowed to save her MP9. Burning. 
Right, well. They force into it. Brandon. Yeah. You've gone a bit weird in my ears. Oh, that's unlucky. There we go, now you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't know. Oh, cool. I just moved my mic close to my mouth. I'm like eating it. Hello. Yeah, can you, if you could do some ASMR for everyone while you're at it? Mm, no. No. Okay. Unlucky. It's actually Zana and Letty doing the CCTA, the creepy crawly through apps. And now they're in underpass. Taz? Oh. Doesn't get the best of Paulie, and here comes Zana. That's the last play you expect there if you Tori. Another one? Oh, missed shot out of Anna. It is the walkthrough apps. It's the extremity play. That's what Bigger Keeper needed. They stop fighting in mid. They take control. They make good on the promise that Paulie did when she walked through Palace and got all the info. But it's double layered this time from Big, and it's Cat thrown into a 1v5. One. I've seen him in a 1v4. Holly's low. Nah, she can't win this. Time's still on her side. I like this little maneuver. Isolate some fights. Ooh, you can see. Tap comes through. But no. No Imperial shenanigans. Money's still really bad for Bigger Keeper. Like, I know Letty and Zana have got some spare change. And it's important that that round was cleaner out of the CT side. But you just feel like Imperial can break them at a moment's notice. And you've still only seen one set play out of Imperial this entire half. Hannah this time goes for a ramp peak. He gets met with a nade instead. No armor. That does significant damage. That's the full spy, so B can still come out of the CT side with something reasonable. If they can weather this force. At least this one, it's, it's, it just falls apart. Spaghetti's everywhere at that stage. They want to keep it in the bowl. That's a lovely HE. So much damage has been inflicted early. Cheeky little boost into the window, sass. What's she up to? Roaming about in smokes. Holy gets success. And towards the palace, Zaz lets them know where she is. Yeah, but you knew she was there anyway. Oh, Tori goes investigating onto Pauly, and that's the bomb dropped. So this really puts a spanner in the works now. You just gotta make sure the players on site live and survive, and Zana's doing a good job of that. It's Anna, though, again, finding all of these opening opportunities. She just needs to get by Paulie in Palace, and she just needs to survive for as long as she can, because help is on the way. Yeah, you feel Pauly. Oh, there we go. That's the swing that she was looking for in Ancient <laughs> versus Anna. Gets the success this time, and Zaz is forced to save the orb, which is going to put Imperial into a funky position where... Saz can drop the orb, and I guess she's rocking the Tech-9, so it's actually not that funky. It'll be okay. And it does give Anna something into the next round that she can work with. Because it will be the Ego, of course. Saz will be out of whack into the following round, but that's not going to matter too much. This is a great round uh, from, from Mega Keeper. They do a lot of damage early. And again, it's extremity pushes. It's poorly pushing into palace, gets the first kill, but doesn't stop and then catches that bomb, prevents Imperial from finding a way back into the round. I'm gonna do one of my things where I try and call a round into existence. And it's not this round for Bigger Keeper, but the next one. I would love it if they actually just completely fought middle. And Santa on a timing shot. You know she's gonna win it. Just need to kind of get this one over the line here, big. This would be a disaster if you let another one of these rounds slip by. Jenny's been spotted in the window, not only with the nades, but also with her little hand peeking by the sill. Yeah, please. Not this round. It's one up. And it's Zaz for the Tech 9. Judeon is so aggressive here. Oh my god, Zaz has got the kill. 
Oh, that smoke's not landed where they wanted either. Yeah, Giuliano's Giuliano, gonna get what are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh no. These are meant to be the easy ones, and they're always the hardest against Imperial. Six points of damage inflicted. It gets a saved orb and a tech nine. Yeah. Uh, oh dear. Saz is happy with that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm really. I'm not, you said you saved all the weapons that were used in that round to get the kills. Juliana was in such a committed position, and all she needed to do was fall back. But then the smoke lands like a, probably like three or four inches forward, and she felt like she had to fight it. I can't believe Dude, that's that, that shot. Dude, that kill is ridiculous, and Anna's falling when she gets that one. Oh dear. Look, th this this gun round should still be the same vein. I still think fighting mid here for bigger keeper is the way to go because you've shown so much on the extremities. Like a deep push, right? You've got one player that's holding in middle four under pass. You've got one that gets up towards the top boxes. Fast. Jenny's in ladder rather than short. She has been here a couple of times. So Tori comes to scout it out and Jenny will get the better of her. I love that. Knew the timing exactly. Finds that opening, punishing this aggression to ladder that's been so consistent. Just the incendio, but Zaz is already ahead of it. How do you want to spin this for your Imperial? Because you just mollied off short. You could go in towards a connector play. There's a crossfire here between Giuliano and Pauli. I think you're going to go mid to B again. That's what it's shaping up like. They've just cleared ladder once more. They've gone into B every single time that they've tried. So that's close for the look. Giuliano is just not looking. No one's covering connector when you know Imperial are living there. Yeah, it's like a complete breakdown in communication. Our bigger keeper in a number of these rounds. I think the eco has really rattled them. Still with the kit. Oh, I had the kit. Jenny, 1v3. Can't get the one. 8 for Imperial. This is this looks this is imperial. This is the, this is the imperial we've come to expect. Tori, one hundred and forty-eight ADR, by the way. It just feels like every fight, save that opening kill they lost, the imperial player is always in the advantage taking it. Yeah. Every time. There's a trade, but a bomb site open for business. The bomb's like not in spawn, but it's like away from Imperial right now. But there's only one flank uh, on Should Juliano. Other... Yeah, I mean, she will get to it if they don't go back. And then Anna's been the one that's sent back to pick it up. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Juliana disrupt this? No, she's scared. Rightfully so. It's Anna. Letty? Something to say. Cat pulls out the tech nine. So that he doesn't get that kill. CT's here. Giuliano drive by is 23. Cat is still low. It's certainly achievable. Especially with Jenny R hitting the 5 7 shot onto Anna. It's all onto Zaz. Somehow, Big Keeper lose two opening kills and is still able to bring this one back. But no round is ever out of the equation for anyone on this Imperial squad. Zaz has the info on where these three CTs last were. Swing, though, is good. She's ready, but not for the jungle player. Giuliano finishes the job and big scrape by with four.
four rounds on the CT side. Is that enough? If it was unlikely, but bigger keeper. They did lose the opening pistol round, which, as the series has gone, indicates that they should win this one. It's an A pop. And there's three players here from Imperial. Yeah, B could have had at least two more rounds than they ended up with. Let's see if they can start strong. Opening kill doesn't go their way. 23 picks Zana and she goes over the top. Zaz tucks in and finds one of her own. And this A pop not quite finding success until Paulie finally gets one back. But 23 is still here, still being a nuisance. You just cannot deal with her. Three in the name, three in the game. Jenny R is four. And she is going to hit the floor. Nine for Imperial. Both pistols theirs. Yeah, that was really simple from Imperial. They had the Zaz bait. The, they had the 23 re-swing in from CT when the contact came in from Connector. It was perfectly played from Imperial. So they'll add another round to their tally. 9-4. Whenever Bigger Keeper lose the pistol, typically on T-side, they force. Not this time. It's a full eco. Yeah. It's kind of two philosophies there, right? Because you obviously have so many rounds deficit that you want to make sure you get the guns as quick as possible. And if you force and lose, you, you're kind of conceding basically 11. But on the other hand, if you force and win, that's an easier way back in. It's very risky. And I don't think Bee Keeper feel like taking the risk right mm. this second. It's also pressure of third map, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's one of those where it's like, okay, well, maybe the maybe the risk isn't greater than the reward. But whenever they force previously, they won. So maybe it was a decision that they could have taken. It definitely wasn't taken lightly. Double digits for Imperial. Here come the guns. Guns. Guns, guns. What? <laughs> it's pop culture. It's fine. Uh, Silly. Oh, flash is really good. But here's that. This is what I was calling for bigger keeper to do, by the way. All for all for half. Just fight mid. And Zaz. Gets dealt with by Zana. And they don't know about the player that's pushed into short until Jenny R activates. But over the top of the smoke, they can see. Oh, 23 goes for a ramp push as well. And it's all a little bit back and forth. Jenny R's still low, but the player advantage was big. Yeah, you really thought there was going to be another punish there with that poorly walk, but Tori keeps cover. They're just going to accelerate to B. Tori will finish the job onto Jenny, but you should know. There's only Cat defending here. Cat not only really been required in this map thus far, but will be required to lock down this site. Swing out, can't get the kill. Letty able to swing through. Tori going very quickly, cuts her off. Tori, oh, looked like she wasn't done, but wasn't expecting the Zion to swing. Yeah, that's 20 kill confidence, Tori, swinging that. The Zana just levels with her. You ain't taking the bomb site off me. Zana 1v2. Anna 1v2. Got the same name. Having a swing in from Market Door. Hasn't got a kit. Needs to isolate the fights quickly. One in from Short. One in from Bench. But Zana wins out the battle with the Arnas. And his bigger keeper. They get five rounds. Okay. That's the start of this long journey that they have ahead of them. Imperial obviously don't have the loss bonus to support. So they will be forcing into it. I like it. Decisive for B Keeper just to immediately go B when they've got should be two present on the A bomb site. Ooh. Spotted. Giuliano. Also is one back. Ned is gonna go. Out of position. Our Imperial. But are you expecting three players layered over this side? I don't know if you are, Zaz. Runs out of bullets. Looking for a kill. Can't connect it. Anna's here, though, and it's all Anna. She can make a play through the smoke. Oh, my God, Anna, she has. Gets one, finds her exit, veiled by those smokes, gets away. Jenny R. Lowe, Anna doing everything right now. Bomb's still not down. In fact, can't even cross right now. Zana needs to be the playmaker. She's stuck 
Underdark, I think she knows that Tori is locked in. Sees her on the cross. What? That's outrageous. And Anna's there. Not even Anna. It's Tori again through the smoke. Laser vision. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What, Tori? Are you joking? Yeah, Tori's locked in. Have that. Just a sucker punch. The keeper got all the openings, and it's Anna that makes this play. And Tori does the rest. I can't believe she gets that kill on Zada. 11-5. Things go from bad to worse for Bigger Keeper. Oh my god. Tori, Tori's just having a map. She is. Alright, she's gonna get punished here. Is she? <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> uh, I just kind of wanted that to happen. Well, Tori can, as she kills everybody, whether That's she sees them or not. Do you know who's got a timing in common? Doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Tori's on 25 kills and counting. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> A masterclass from Tori. And th this is the, again, this is the thing that we've spoken about a little bit from Imperial, and it really rang true on Ancient. It's the rounds they were getting was all individual. This is just one player taking over a game, and any single player from Imperial can do this. Well, big last hurrah, the A-bomb site. And lightly defended, three players on B. They're expecting the B-pop. So they are one step behind, at least in this round. 23, swings out. 23 looking to do the solo hold and only good for the one. Bomb not down, but Imperial very far away. Bigger scared. They're scrambling, haven't got the bomb down yet. And now all the reinforcements arrive. Wrap it up. Bomb gets planted. But it's a little avail unless Giuliano can do something exceptional. And she can't. Goes for the wide swing into three CTs. Letty, four HP. Blown out the server by the HE. Imperial after a rough start on Ancient. Make it look all too easy on the following two and take the series. Yeah, that was a masterclass from Tori and Imperial. I don't know what it is this season, but they're starting off slow in these best of threes, whether it is conceding a map, whether it's even forcing overtime, and then they find a way to win. And that was dominant.